Hey guys and girls and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 as House Blackmane here in the Westerlands. In the last episode we weren't able to actually do much. Uh, at the moment the Great Sickness, as you guys can see, has spread throughout the land. I do believe it is slowly coming to the end. You can kind of tell because of the patchworks up here. So we're going to be hanging out, not doing probably too much until that all disappears. Also, I'd love to thank you guys all for your great responses and comments in the last couple of episodes. It's been highly appreciated and given me some really good ideas. So, once the plague has ended, because we're not going to be sending our son out anytime soon, we are going to see if... Um, ooh, let's offer him a reward. Yes, we're going to see if he... Yes, he will accept it. Excellent. We're going to foster our older son and air onto Tywin because I think that'd be a cool idea. Uh, as I've probably said in a couple of other episodes and a few of my other series, when you train them yourself, you can kind of create the perfect children most of the time, unless you get really unlucky with uh, some of the events. So pretty much you can create a compassionate, tempered and, you know, brave soul person over and over and over again, because you can kind of take the stress uh, to get the result you want. And even if you don't do the uh, stress result to get the result you want, normally they turn out pretty good. So this way, we're going to get a random, uh, pretty much a random character by the end of it all. But like I said, we're not going to send him out now because that would be a bit silly, uh, sending our child out through the middle of a plague. I don't think we would do that. So we're just going to go on a decent speed. We're going to continue doing uh, increased control just to try and keep that boosted up as high as we can. Um, yeah, I'm not too worried about anything else at the moment. We are suffering a bit of stress, but like I said, I'm not overly too worried about that. We do have a daughter, um, which we're going to, who is educating you? Our wife. Okay, I'm not worried about that. I'm happy with that. That will give us a bit of a random result, and I think that would be a bit more realistic. We keep our daughter nice and close to where we are, and most likely our wife would raise our daughter as well. So, yeah, so like I said, um, there's not a whole lot to do. We could go on a hunt, but I don't think while the plague was going is hanging around, we're going to be doing that as well. We are pretty lucky. Is that? No, it is very close to leaving our area. Uh, this is our lovely uh, chateau here. Our wife is pregnant again, which is good. Uh, hmm. Promising, we're going to go Promising Prospects, plus, no, it's not the marriage acceptance for us, it's for close family plus 25, so we may be able to make a good alliance, but I think because we're a bastard of House Lannister, we can pretty much marry almost anyone anyway, but I think that makes a little bit of sense, because we will need to be finding a partner for our wife, uh, sorry, for our wife, for our daughter, and our heir as well, so... Hmm, okay, what's this? Uh, no laughing matter. Who are you? My steward, vassal, and knight. My, uh, why, my lord? It's the latest advice from the physicians. They assure the great sickness is spread by bad moods. Okay, so pretty much... Uh, well, we're not... Com we're, we're compassionate. So we're going to take this. 50-50. Um, Diplomacy goes down for a, uh, one for a year. And he doesn't like us. Uh, but we'll give that a crack. Unfortunately, it did not pay off. Damn. Yeah, I don't think the Great Sickness is spread by bad mood. I don't think that makes much sense. Uh, but, oh well, you know, what are you going to do about it? The other thing we are most likely going to do is transfer our um, increased development to our actual capital. Uh, yeah, we're in a bit of trouble. Hmm. Okay, uh, poultry bandits. Um, hmm. Kill them and take the loot. No. We're not going to kill them. Oh, they are... Yeah, the bandits. We're just going to arrest them. Oh, but we are ruthless, though. You know what? I think we wouldn't just arrest them. Um, they are outlaws. Uh, we are compassionate and, you know, mild. But in certain situations, I don't think think this is the, a situation where we'd be compassionate. We're going to be ruthless. They are, uh, yeah, they are bent. So let's kill them and take their loot. 
Okay, we didn't get Wrathful, but we did get a bit of gold. I don't know how much we got, but that's okay. That also helps us just maintain our income as well while we're in the negative. Okay, how's the plague going? I think the plague has left us quite well. Alone. Excellent, which is good. Nope, it's still hanging around, unfortunately. Okay, excellent. There we go. The plague now it longer is affecting us. Okay, now the catch is... In 13 months, we are going to be getting uh, a bit of an uprise. Um, not much we can do about that. We may be able to just uh, placate them. And we have another son. Uh. Okay, so we have a son called Selmond. Hmm. Who are we going to name him? Maybe we name him after our grandfather, Gerald, I reckon. Uh... There we go, perfect. Yes, we'll name him after our grandfather, I reckon. Welcome, uh, Gerald Blackmane. Excellent. Now, the plague has almost completely disappeared. We're going to wait until it leaves. Yeah, as you can see, we've got a bit of a track going down there. But once it leaves Lannisport and Castle Leaf Rock, we will then uh, pass on our son as a reward. Maybe both of them? No, I think we'd probably go... One maybe our lord, and then one of uh, our half brother. I think that would make much sense. Okay, so the plague is still affecting uh, Custody Rock, which is fine. That should come to an end soon. I wonder if it randomly does it, or if it's like you know higher develop, it hangs around longer, things like that. But that's okay. From dust, we are going to spend the thirteen gold. We're going to get uh, exceptional disease recovery. And we're definitely not going to just hang around and do nothing. Uh, plus 10 per month for a little bit is better than nothing. Okay, so we are going to move the development to oops, uh, Lowell for the time being. Because we need to kind of recover from this uh, bad event. Surprised it's hanging out so long. That's quite interesting. So we're just going to speed it up. Our wife is pregnant again. Now, the catch is, unfortunately, because the disease is so very strong and can wipe out a lot of people, I think he's going to... Yeah, he's most likely going to die. Um, the lovely people over who created this mod have increased fertility. Now, the only problem with that is you start having a lot of family members uh, really quickly. Um, a squirrel. We're going to give it to... Yeah, our brother died, unfortunately. Hmm, we're not going to sell him. You know, it can live here at the court. And we're just going to name it Pet, sure, why not? Okay. Now, there's no point educating my other sons at the moment. Excellent, because we're about to do this. Uh, so let's go and... Nope. Offer ward. We're going to offer our true son. Well, they're all, they're all true sons. Tywin, we're going to accept that. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, Kevin did die. Do any of these... No, they don't have land. Okay. We're then going to say, you know what? Because we married a Hightower as well. Uh, would you... Take our younger son. You would. Excellent. Okay. That's fine. So both of our sons are now off. Uh, our very Targ uh, Targaryen, our very Lannister looking uh, child has gone to Tywin. And our very black mane uh, bastard has gone to the High Towers for educational purposes. Excellent. Now, the other thing is a war has broken off. Which we may need to join as well, which I just saw. Okay, we're going to ignore you for the time being. Thank you. Now... Oh, I thought I saw... Ah, okay. Yeah, you're definitely not going to win, mate. Not in the slightest. Ooh, Stannis died. Oh, he died in battle against... Oh, clearance. Okay. Yeah, I was like, who the hell is that? 
pretty much nobody really. Okay, and our son has departed for Old Town. We will keep uh, whatever child this. If this child is another son, we will most likely just keep him here at home. Because uh, I think that'd be interesting, you know, three different situations. They're not going to, yeah, definitely not going to do that. We don't have a lot of troops because I was looking at expanding down south. Now, of course, we do have the high towers on our site as well. So what we're going to do, let's fabricate a claim anyway. And we'll see what happens. Now, we will have reached the pinnacle of what we can. Which will then force us probably to, say, declare independence from him. So we'll go to declare war and, and then do an independent war. We've got enough troops, which is fine. We're just going to hang on. And what we're going to do, actually... No, we'll just hang on to one. Because what I was thinking is get a claim on both. Declare war on both. Take both of them. Keep these guys around because I'd give them back some of the land. And declare independence, create it, and then we've also automatically got our lands under our control. However, if we create the duchy, we may be lucky enough that he will, uh, the Taiwan will give the lands to us, because it's technically ours. Okay. So we got the... Ooh, that's kind of very pale, which is weird. Okay, I'm not going to spend any money, because I don't want to do any of that. Uh, any of this is going to help us? No, not really. Not at the moment. Which is fine. Uh, what can I do? What can I do? You know what? We've been stuck inside for too long. Let's go for a hunt. Uh, let's go for a proper hunt. We'll go to Goldburn. Sure, why not? Since it is free, we're going to invite everyone and do as many animals as we can. And we cannot wait. Excellent. Okay, hopefully he survives long enough to train our son. He is getting a bit old. Oh, yeah, definitely not. Not at 43% chance of us dying. Um... Yeah, I know we're compassionate, but I don't know. I, I think we're not, because we're... Wait, how? My prowess is good. My marshal's decent. How would he beat me? Okay, um, unfortunately we are going to risk it, we are going to flee, yes we are overwhelmed by stress unfortunately, ugh, really bad, but it was meant to be I suppose, and we become a secret witch, um, ooh, I don't know, uh, I don't know if you'd just become a witch out of nowhere. I think you would be like, nah, I'm not going to become a witch. Which is kind of funny. Yeah. So unfortunately my uh, counsellor did die. We're going to have to replace him uh, with my other vassal. Sure, why not? Okay. And then we are doing a hunt now, which should reduce some of our stress. And then we may do a few other activities. Uh... We're going to hunt a stag. You know what? Let's, no, let's just go right. Let's see if we can get a, a nice easy target for us. Ooh. Not a single person showed up. Wow. This is gone downhill so quickly. Um. <laughs> Do we take the risk and get more stress? Uh, let's do 50-50. We, we haven't been doing a very good run, so let's risk it. Excellent. We did lose a bit of stress, which is fine. Um, mental break. The voices. 
They live with me. I'm in my head. Oh, do we become a lunatic? Um, that's just as lunatic as possible. Our fame goes down. Okay. We'll definitely be going, uh, going for the naked run. Um. Oh, yeah. I don't think we become a lunatic. As much as, uh, that sounds like fun, I think we're just going to go, I must ex uh, exercise these, uh, devil's voices. Okay. Uh, shit, we're going to be late. It doesn't really matter. We're coming home anyway. We are going to hold on. What if it's a poison fruit? Mainly because we're compassionate. I think we would be kind of concerned. Which is fine. We did get a bit of lifestyle points as well, which is okay. Now, well, that didn't work out very well. We're going to host a feast as well. Wait, am I up... No. Wait, what the hell? Oh, because I've... Okay, I think I know why. Uh, that was very bizarre. Uh, I'm in an army. Okay, well, we're going to go quick. We're going to do that. And then we're going to go decision. Refuse to become general. Now, we should be out of our army. Yes, excellent. We are. And then we're going to hold a feast. And we're going to do it at home. Let's boost up. Because I'm in army. How long until I get back from the army? I'm going to have to give him a, a tax lenient. It's not the best option, but it's the only option I have left. Okay, I am there. Yes. I have no idea what's going on at the moment. Let's hold a feast. I'm in an army. How the hell am I in an army? Maybe I have to wait until the month ticks over. Okay, we have a daughter called Joy. Fair enough. And the other thing I have to still do is... Yes, she's uh, looking after her. That's fine. Uh, Guardian, no. We will do... Whoops, I did myself. I didn't want to. Our wife, sure. Okay, a month ticked over now. We are pretty sure I'm still sure I'm there. This is... I'm in an army. How the hell am I, I, am I in an army? Okay, I think I'm out of an army now. I must have been waiting to come back. Okay, let's hold a feast. Take two of holding a feast. Um, we're just going to hold a, a basic feast, I think. Nothing too fancy. You know, we don't want to go too over the top. we still got to watch our gold as well. Okay. The plague is still being affected by... Well, is it still affecting uh, West Rosie? But that's okay. Who's been excommunicated? The Lord of Meadows. Okay, sure. Welcome, friends. Okay, excellent. Time to unwind. Uh, this is where I want to be, definitely. You lose 100 stress? Sure, that's a big, big uh, blow to the stress, which is good. Um, you recognize, she recognizes true intelligence, I see. Excellent, yes, uh, she's trying to seduce me. That's okay. Uh, we become friends. Excellent. Oh, that's nice. And then finally, no, no, do please go on. What does that give us? Diplomacy and learning. We lose a bit of stress and she likes us a bit more. I think, why don't we, yes, why don't we talk more about you instead? Sure. We're friends, you know, we, we're compassionate. I think we'd be uh, kind enough to talk about different things. Uh, and we've... Excellent. So we lose 30 stress. We gain some prestige. We also gain some legitimacy, which is good. Development growth, which is really good. Plus 20% growth. I like that. And some of our vassals are like us a little bit more as well. So that's really going to boost our development. Yes, 26 per month, which is really good. 
we want to try and boost that as high as we can. Now, there's a lot of rebellions and wars going on, which is fine. We're going to stay out of that, to tell you the truth. Uh... What is our ally still looking at? 7,000 troops. Okay, not bad. So if we wanted to, we could probably rebel now, but when I think we hold on for a little bit longer. How's our son coming along? Eh, he's still probably quite a while off before he's doing anything. She's bossy. Um, sure, we're going to go Stuart Focus. I don't think she's going to become a warrior. Uh, I think she'll go Stuart Focus. Everyone else is I'm not too fast. We will leave that up to them. Okay, excellent. Why are you on my land? Doesn't matter to me. Uh, hopefully we can sort all this out. Okay. Uh, sure, let's go loyalty and respect. Spouse opinion plus 50. Oh, we are probably looking at going to war soon. So, we're going to go siege weapons. Because I think I'm going to recruit some siege units. It just saves a lot in the future as well. Uh, if we go minute arms and say buy some trebuchets, 1.3 plus whatever it is we can boost it is really, really useful. It just sieges down uh, places so much quicker. Hmm. Fruits and vegetables. Better get used to a hard life of hard work kids. No. Well, because we're compassionate. Uh, that's the wrong attitude. Sometimes you have to relax. You're admirable. Maybe there is hope for the future. After all, okay. That sounds like I sell fruit and vegetables with my mother. It's m fun most days, but hard work. Yeah, you're admirable. Sure, why not? I think that sounds like us. We're not very pious. Like I said, we are more, you know, compassionate. Yeah, we're, we're ruthless, but I don't think we'd be rude about it, though. Okay, the war... Renly's claim for the Paramount of the Stormlands is pretty much over. And we knew who that was going to win pretty quickly. Now, the other good thing is... This seems to be... Uh, no, he's not at war. Okay. Well, there's more rebellions everywhere, but I don't think he's going to win. Nah. Not 3,000 peasants. But there is peasants everywhere. Okay. We have found a spy. Control change by 20, which is really, really good. Uh, he's refusing. Very well. Wait. Oh. Sorry. My maester. Ooh. Conspiracy. Everyone does say the maesters uh, work... Not for their lords, but somebody else. Um, we are going to... He's, he has been good. But if he's spying for us, we're going to throw him in jail. And then what we're going to do is we're going to banish him. Uh, we won't execute him. I think we're going to send him to uh, the wall. And we'll send a raven and see if we can get a new maze dead. Bye bye. And we steal his gold at the same time as well, so. Ah, a blouse. Okay. Well, he's quite young. Not very good. Um, 20 gold, sure. Why not? We'll, we'll recruit you. 16. Wow. So young. Now, our claim has almost come through, which is quite good. This would actually be quite a good time to attack. Yeah, you got no allies. Who are you? I don't know who you are. You must be really small. No, you're decent size. Uh, but I'm sure, I'm assuming the plague's just absolutely ripped you a new one. Okay. So we're going to get this claim. We're going to pay the 8 one gold, which is fine. We are still, unfortunately, over. Which we have to be really careful of. Court positions. 
Maester, personal champion. Okay, we are going to get rid of that personal champion. Uh, where do I go for that? I can never remember. Ah, here. Okay. Uh, sure. He's not going to like us. It's going to cost us some prestige, but we need to save that money. And he's heartless as well, so that makes sense. Okay, so we are now making money, which is good. Uh, I write to inform you that my house has found itself at war. During such time, uh... Are we friends? We're not friends. Uh, yeah, no. I know we're compassionate. Oh, he's an owl. Okay, he's one of the leeches. Yeah, no, 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 no. Not going to send you the gold. Sorry. Which is fine. Like I said, that just saves us a little bit of gold. And... Can't get any trebuchets. But we should be able to go to war anyway. Call in our allies for that land. So we're going to do that. It's going to cost us uh, 11 prestige, which is fine. And we are, like I said, going to call in our ally. How is our son coming along? Eh. Awesome, you're a good daughter. Ooh. I am going to say my servants will have to manage. I know I'm going to get Courtier's negative 5, but we don't have the cash uh, to call in a, a professional, pretty much. Oh. Well. Our lord, sorry, our half-brother has gone to war. So, we will be joining this war. What is it? Dissolution. Oh, this would be interesting. 65,000 against 36,000. The rebellious cause is righteous. Yes. Um. Lord Tywin shall get all my men. Yes, of course you shall. Now, the catch is... That's a big load of mess everywhere. Okay, our allies are coming towards uh, to help us. So what we're going to do is, because it's going to be a bit of a pain in the butt, we're going to do our war first, and then we'll continue on helping the Lannisters, I think. That is pr probably the best thing I can go about it. Uh, can't call him into war anyway, which is fine. An alliance? No. Okay, well I am going to end it there, guys, on a very interesting note. So yeah, we're at war with uh, Sarsfield, trying to get a bit more of our land. Our half-brother and Lord Paramount of the Westerlands has decided to break free. And... Yeah, I think we'll win. Which means West the Westerlands will become a kingdom. Everyone's going to become their own kingdom, I believe. Interesting. That will actually work in our favour, I think. Maybe? Not too sure. Anyway, as always, if you guys enjoyed this episode and the series, leave a like. And if you guys haven't done already, subscribe. Leave a comment down below because I love interacting with you guys as always. And I try and respond to every question as soon as I can. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. So until then, bye for now.